In this video I'm going to show you how to make some fractions bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com This is the initial screen of the program I click create new bingo card project now given a choice of what kind of bingo card I'd like to create I can start a blank bingo card into my own words or items on the bingo card choose alphabet, numbers, I can also choose school subjects like geography, history, science and so forth I can also choose English, which contains English grammar and English as second languages. Uh, languages, which is things like French, German, Spanish. Um, events, birthdays, bridal showers, baby showers, holidays, Christmas, Halloween and so forth. And of course, math, which is what we want here. And if I scroll down in the math tab, I will find a number of entries relating to fractions. There's fractions, fractions addition, adding two fractions and asking the answer, fractions division. Fractions multiplication, fraction subtraction. So we'll stick with the uh, fractions um, simple between 0 and 1. There's 24 entries in there. And I either uh, double click on it or I click on it once and then click OK. And there's my fractions here. I can also uh, add additional fractions in. So for example, if I would like to add, uh, say, 9 tenths as a fraction, which I don't think is in the list at the moment. It will add it on the end of the list if I type it in. Um, or 99 out of 100. I can add it as a fraction as well. Um, I can delete items I don't want. So, for example, if I don't want uh, 1 12th, I can simply highlight that item and delete it. And I can therefore customize my list of items uh, on the screen. Uh, I can also customize the size and appearance of the bingo card. Um, I started off with a 5x5 five five bingo card in this case, uh, which is what this particular template uses. But I can make a 3x3, three 4x4, three, 5x5, four five five, which I started with, or, or a larger one such as 6x6. Six six, although I won't have uh, enough items at present to fill out a 6x6 six six bingo card, I'd have to actually type more items into this list to make it. So we'll stick to 5x5 five five for now. Um, I can customize the heading of the bingo card. I can turn it on or off. I could also change the text of the heading. I can customize the whether or not to have the free space on the bingo card. And again, I can uh, change the text of that. I also can change the fonts and colors of the bingo card. So for example, if I change the colors, uh, I could make the squares. Um, perhaps I'll make them yellow. And I'll make the heading um, red text on a light blue background. Hopefully that will be readable. And we'll change the line color to be uh, green. So it's quite a bright colored um, bingo card. The free space at the moment is still white background. So anyway, let's see what it looks like. There we are. Those are the colors. I could also customize the fonts as well if I wanted to, but I'll leave that as that is for now. Uh, and instead what I'll do is I'll show you the printing options. So for now, let's assume that we're happy with bingo card as I've designed it and try uh, the different options related to printing. First option related to printing is uh, whether or not to print the call list. Call list is basically this list of items uh, printed separately from the bingo cards in a random order. If you're using uh, bingo cards in a classroom situation or something like that, uh, it's very useful to have a printed reference to all the items to use for calling the game, and that's what the call list is. If you don't want it, you can simply turn it off, and if you do want it, you simply turn it on. Um, there is another option in the program for helping you call out items if you're the bingo caller, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, I can also show you uh, that you've got some options here for changing the number of bingo cards per page. Uh, I can print more than one bingo card on each page. Uh, and that's quite helpful if I'm printing a large number of bingo cards and I want to save paper. Um, the disadvantage of printing more than one per page is that every individual card, bingo card tends to be smaller, a little bit harder to read therefore. And also, if I'm giving one bingo card to each player, I therefore have to spend time cutting the paper up. But if I'm printing a large number, it'll be worth it, particularly since uh, layout is the same on every page. I could use a guillotine or something like that to cut through a whole stack of pages in one go. So we'll stick to one per page for the demonstration, but the option is there. Finally, the other main option interesting for printing is how many bingo cards to print. Uh, and that basically tells the software, I would like to use this design, but print these number of different bingo cards with each one of which will have a different arrangement of the words or items um, and I can put in as many as I need. I can put in one, I can put in ten, I can put in a hundred, I can put in a thousand, I can put in in fact any number up to 9,999 and every single bingo card will have a different arrangement of items. So it's a very quick way to use a large number of 
uh, different bingo cards. So in my example, I'm going to put 50. Uh, now, I would normally do print here, but I'm going to print preview so you can see on screen what the printout looks like. Okay, the first page here has got the um, call list, the list of items that can appear on bingo cards. As you can see, the items are in a random order. Uh, if I do next page, I'll then get my first bingo card. I'll zoom out a little so you can see the whole bingo card here. Again, the items are shuffled about randomly. Uh, if I do uh, next page, you'll see the second bingo card has got a different arrangement of the items. And if I do next page, the third page is different, and so on, up to 50, because I've got 50 bingo cards. Uh, OK, uh, that's uh, basically it for all the main features, except for I did say I'd show you one other option, which is another option to help you call the items out if you are the bingo caller, which is called Call Game. If I go to the Play menu, say Call Game, uh, it will choose one item at random here, and it will show me the current item on the right-hand side, and it will show me the pre previous items on the left hand side. So when I click next I'll get a new item and again I'll get the previous item uh, underneath it. So new item and previous item underneath it and so forth. So that's another way that you can select items to call out if you're the bingo caller. Okay the software is called Bingo Card Printer. You can download it from bingocardprinter.com. There is a free trial version that you can try out uh, and if you like it, you can then register and upgrade to the full version of the software. Hopefully you will like it. The software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows. And both the free trial and the registered version include hundreds of ready-to-use bingo activities to get you started. So go to the website, download the free trial, check it out, see what you think. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.